Earth science, the rock cycle. The concept of the rock cycle puts the relationship between the three rock types into a visual perspective. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks are each formed by different processes, but still they are related. Most minerals, and hence rocks, are formed by the crystallization of magma, and a single magma can transform into different magmas, basaltic magma, andesitic magma, and granitic magma. And when these different magmas cool and crystallize, they form into the different types of igneous rocks. So at one time or another, the rocks on Earth's surface all originated from magma that formed into igneous rock. Igneous rock makes up about 95% of Earth's crust. But the rock we see at the surface is mainly sedimentary rock. When igneous rock is subjected to weathering and erosion, sediment forms. As these sediments accumulate, they may compact from the weight of overlying sediment layers and or become cemented from mineral-rich water that fills the spaces between the sediments. So by compaction and or cementation, the sediment turns into sedimentary rock. When surface rocks, such as igneous and sedimentary rock, are subjected to increased pressure and temperature, the rock changes. Metamorphic rock is formed. This cycle can be short-circuited as well. Metamorphic and sedimentary rock at Earth's surface may decompose to become sediment that becomes new sedimentary rock. And metamorphic rock can melt, become magma, and this completes the rock cycle. The rock cycle begins with the cooling and crystallization of magma to form igneous rock. After that, there are many possible pathways. Igneous rock can weather to become sediment, or if subjected to heat and pressure, can become metamorphic rock. And sedimentary rock can weather to become sediment, to begin a new journey to become sedimentary rock. The same for the weathering of metamorphic rock. The rock cycle is another example of mass conservation in the natural sciences. No material disappears. Rock material is simply recycled to become new rock, and the earth stays the same size. Does this mean that all rock layers have been recycled? That there are no original rocks on Earth's surface? No, not really. There are still some very old igneous rocks that have never been recycled. But when we see beach sand or other sediments, or sedimentary or metamorphic rocks, what we're seeing is rock material that was once something else. And if we can see it now, we know that the rock or sediment is somewhere on its journey in the rock cycle. But how do these processes occur? Why do we find the various rocks where we do? For example, why do we find granitic type rocks in the Sierra Nevada mountains and basaltic rock on the Hawaiian Islands? Why do we find layered sedimentary rock in the Grand Canyon? And why are metamorphic rocks so common in the Appalachian Mountains? These are all great questions, and we will investigate this more when we study plate tectonics. Onward. Mm -hmm.